The last full session of the 17th Lok Sabha has come to an end. The government ensured passage of key landmark legislations like uh, criminal laws, amending bills. But it also will be remembered as a ses session uh, where there were huge number, perhaps a record number of suspensions. 143 opposition MPs suspended. So let's bring in the guests and try and get perspective on what the BJP and the Congress will be remembering this session for. Shama Mohammed, beginning with you. Uh, the, <clears throat> the opposition or the country will remember this session for the government being undemocratic. See, you have suspended 146 members of parliament. And what is the reason? Because we asked a question, a very pertinent question. Let's understand the parliament was attacked. The parliament was attacked and we can call it a terror attack. Why? Because the police have put UAPA on these six people. So what does that mean? It's a terror attack. Now you have a terror attack, which we already had in 2001. You have another one now. And the, the home minister is not even ready to answer a single question. We also know that these people were protesting over something, whatever. You have, you have suspended one sort of 46 members of parliament, but the person, Pratap Simha, the member of parliament who's given that pass is nowhere to be seen. He's not in parliament. We ask the why is he not been suspended? He's still there. You have expelled Mahua Moitra, but the person who called Ramesh Biduri, uh, called Danish Ali, a terrorist inside parliament has not been suspended, no action taken. Hmm. So the question today is why is the prime minister silent? And who okay. is accountable? There is no accountability in this government. I want to know who okay. is accountable for this. Tom and we Bodhisattva, just have specific Tom statement. Bodhisattva, the concerns are valid here. And uh, unfortunately, uh, although you would have wanted this session to be remembered for key legislations, including the new criminal laws, but this record suspension uh, will go down as in the history as well. That 17th Lok Sabha, 146 opposition MPs suspended in a matter of few days. Maria, it takes two hands to clap. Uh, suspension is not a one-sided monologue. It happens because it's an action and a reaction. If you cross the Rubicon of the business advisory meeting, where it was clearly stated that you cannot come in with play cards and enter a certain premises, it was complete agreement. And after that, there is a studied attempt to create a situation where they defied the, uh, the chairman of the house and the speaker. Now, under that circumstances, do you expect indiscipline to be uh, 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 running amok in the, in the temple of democracy? No, but it is not in just the one sided. Temple of democracy, uh, how no, can, no, come, how can complete, the treasury benches decide, sir? How huh? can the treasury benches decide alone that this is the only way to discipline the opposition? You it is no it is, No, let me complete. Which required, you know, elaborate discussions and debate. Did that happen? But Maria, I'm asking you a question. How do you expect that the business advisory committee or leaders of the opposition parties were there and it was agreed upon that they will not carry play cards and create a, create a situation where they have to be removed? Now, if you create a situation like that, do you expect the chairman, the speaker to sit idle on a promise that was made at the business advisory committee. But tell me, now, would you have not wanted some more discussions on the criminal law bills? We and, were certainly and the wanted. Bills? We certainly wanted all that. Democracy? We certainly wanted that. But did we get an opportunity? They created a ruckus and they continued doing this ruckus. If they wanted a Guinness okay. Book of Record okay. of people being suspended, you know, you know, so Shama, be it. Shama, you know, all this may have been great has the opposition got the pulse of the people right. I'm not too sure if the first event of a united opposition bloc should be to protest against the suspension of MPs because that will not resonate with the public of India. No, listen to me, Maria. What is the protest for? Because why were they suspended? The protest is for we cannot ask a parliament, the temple of democracy, the most secure place has been attacked. And why did we were there were no placards on the first day when we came, when the MPs came in? They said we need a statement from the Home Minister. The Home Minister 
not only is supposed to speak in parliament he's speaking to the nation because we are worried when the parliament can be attacked any place in india can be attacked and already there is high security we've got a new building they said there are cameras in 2001 it was attacked so our question was just give us a statement now my question today is the home minister speaks outside to a tv channel gives an interview the prime minister speaks to dainik baskar so they can't speak in parliament isn't it the duty of the opposition to ask questions and let's go back to 2010 11 12 what was sushma swaraj and arun jaitley doing they clearly said they clearly said that it is important in democracy to do this and that is what is true democracy so my question today is who is we can't they're telling us that we can't protest we can't ask questions and also look at the audacity that they did not have the parliament building did not have for 48 days a joint secu- security for security no, all those are valid questions shama so shama this is very important while, while i understand that the questions being raised by opposition are valid ones but the opposition right now is it really in that position to register a views which can be very well not taken up with the belligerence that it did that is my limited point that oh, so is this the right time for showcasing your strength when you have far greater issues at hand so maria you're telling me that we have no right to ask the home minister no i'm the not saying that the home minister does not give a statement I'm not the home that. minister does not give a statement we are supposed to keep quiet after and and has there been a suspension like this my question today is you are asking the right questions then you must ask why is pratap simha not suspended or expelled or a uapa put on him i mean i fail to understand that this is the security of the nation just in case it was the congress government we'll know what happens there has to be accountability there's been no accountability on the intelligence failure in pulwama there is no accountability now we are asking us they can have an investigation whatever the home minister can come and say you know what we are looking into it very firmly way deeply we want everything right we don't know how the security lapsed it could should not have happened because we also had a threat from the us from panun and i cannot Fine. understand when such a threat Fine. happened who have you know who passed Fine. this Fine. Fine. Shama, you don't have to you don't have to scream you know so why are you know the question no, no, is a civilized debate that's what ndtv is known for you know, i agree let's, with you what happens to all of us you've got your fair chance to speak so oh, let's yeah, i agree i agree so thank you so much thank you uh tom vadakan 30 seconds to you and then i end this discussion well it's very strange this is not the But first time ta- is not suspended can you answer that please tom vadakan okay, okay. i am not here to answer your question okay, please, please. i am here vadakan, on maria's program vadakan, so please go ahead there's a please. protocol for sir, that sir, go ahead. now the yes. question is now the question is this is not the first time that parliament has been attacked there has been occasions when they have used this same toolkit in the hijacking of the aircraft when you were in government hijacking of the aircraft during indira ji's period you remember maria if you check the records you'll know this kind of narrative is a standard operating procedure of the gandhi family let me put that on record and very clearly there are fingers pointing out and there are fingerprints to indicate connections there is an investigation in progress the investigation will come out once it comes out okay. they will all speak and, yes and one thing that is coming out is that the parliament is coming to the parliament secretary appreciate your time from the top of the channel 